السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته with you Mr. Muhammad Sobh uh, from Agiad Language School uh, Today we will talk about lesson 5 in unit 1 comparing decimals How can you compare a decimal? Listen to me If you want to compare a decimal you can use place value chart to compare the decimal Example number 1 compare 2 and 948,000 2 and 957,000 Now, if you put them on a place value chart 2, the first number 2 in 1's and the 9 in 10th and the 4 in 100th and 8 in 1,000th The next one 2 in 1's also and the 9 in 10th and 5 in 100's and 7 in 1000th Now if you want to compare start the 1's place and the 1's place is 2 and the 2 2 in 1's and the 2 in 1's and they are equal Go to the 10th place 9 in 10th and the 9 in 10th also and they are equal In the 100th place you have 4 in 100's and 5 in hundreds so 5 in hundreds place it's more than 4 in hundreds place so 5 more than 4 so the second number is greater because you have a 5 in hundreds place now if you want to compare without using a place value chart how can you compare between two decimal without using place value chart you put the two numbers and start to compare from the whole number at the first the whole number all together is 2 and the whole number is also 2 so you are equal now you have a decimal point here and you have a decimal point here you have tens 9 and also here is 9 what about 100? the 100 is 4 and here is the 100 is 5 so 100 is 5 is greater and you you must stop don't complete comparing a number because you have 4 and 5 and 5 it's more than 5 more than 4 so you stop at you stop comparing you stop to compare the number and the number which is has 5 and 100 place is greater 2 and 957 now go and go to another example to understand the more and the more now if you want to compare use the place value chart to compare the following decimals now I want to use uh, a place value without drawing any chart to compare now you have the whole number here is 52 and the whole number is 52 so they are equal you have a decimal point here and you have a decimal point here what about tenth here what is, is a is zero tenths in tenths of place but here what is what about tenths is eight eight in tenths of place so this number is greater okay or by another way this is eight is out of one thousand but this eight is out of tenths so this is eight is greater now go to the next one now if you want to compare you have three in ones and also three in ones decimal point and also decimal point zero in tenth and you have zero in tenth but here you have two in hundred place and one in hundred place so two in hundred place is greater so this number is greater 3.02 now if you want to compare between these two numbers the whole number here is 67 and the whole number is 67 decimal point and this decimal point what about the tenths place it's 5 and also here is 5 so they are equal where is the hundreds and thousands of place to compare there is no so you can put zeros as you like now you have 0 0 0 and 0 so these two numbers they are equal okay go to another, another example 
now if you want to compare between these two number or, or these questions now you have a decimal and a fraction you can't compare between decimal and the fraction you must convert at the first the fraction to decimal or a decimal to a fraction as you like but now I want to compare or to convert the fraction to decimal at the first 385 over 1000 so you must put the decimal points after three decimal places so the decimal form of this fraction it will be 0 0.385 now you can compare now you can a compare you have something now you can compare between them uh, zero in whole number, zero in whole number, decimal point, decimal point, three in tens, and three in tens, nine in hundreds, and eight in hundreds. So it's a nine is greater. So this number is greater. Now you have twenty-eight thousands. Twenty-eight thousands means twenty-eight over one thousand. Twenty-eight over what? One thousand. And 28 over 1000 if you want to write it as a decimal so you can write it 0 point 0 to 8 because you must put the decimal point after three decimal places because it's over 1000 now go to compare between the decimals you have 0 and once zero and once decimal point and decimal point zero n tens of place and you have two in tens of place so two in tens of place is greater or by another way this is 28 out of 1000 but this is 28 out of 100 or 28 hundreds 28 hundreds is greater now go to the next example Uh, this is numbers written as uh, expanded form and and you want to put it in standard form so you write at the first uh, four in ones you write here four in ones decimal point after that you have four in hundreds so there is no tens so you put zero in tens of place and you write four in hundreds after that you have five in thousands so this number is four and forty five thousands now if you want to compare between these two number you go this is four in ones four in ones zero in tens zero in tens and you have four in hundreds but here you have five in hundreds now four in hundreds is greater so this number is greater okay now you have also number in expanded form here and you want to put it in standard form so you write it here four and one and whole number four after that you put the decimal point you have one in tens you write one there is no hundreds so you put zero you have seven in thousands place you write seven so now start to compare the number four in uh, once a place and the four in once a place decimal point and the decimal point one in tenth and the one also in tenth two in hundreds and here is zero in hundreds so two in hundreds is greater so four point one two is greater okay go to another example Now order from least to greatest. How can you order this number from least to greatest? Start to take the smaller one of this number. What is the smaller number of this number? You take four and four and four and four. All whole numbers are equal. Go to the <coughs> tenth place, one and the one and the one and zero. So the smallest number. 4.015 the smallest one okay 
the next one four and the four and the four and the four one and the one and the one so three and the five and the five so three is a smaller so it will be four point one three six okay what is the next number four point one five four point one five one five seven and one five zero so the smaller is four point one five zero and the last one it will be four point one five seven okay that the answer of the of this question uh, thank you for all and bye bye